This is Thruxton, the fastest circuit in England. When it goes wrong here, it goes very wrong. But it's not only the drivers risking their lives for the love of motorsport. Spare a thought for the men and women in orange, standing in the line of fire. High time then for me to man up and join the volunteers to be a marshal for the day and stand side by side with the unsung heroes who make motorsport tick. I'm usually in a presentation point over there with some headphones on. I've n I haven't been this close to a circuit when actually a race is going on, ever. I'm quite excited actually. Yeah. The most important thing is, whilst we're here on post, always watch the oncoming traffic. Oh, he's gonna let his go, he's got him. Watch out! I barely saw Jason Plato as he lost control and crashed right in front of me. Now, I know him very well, you know him very well, but this isn't a time to talk to a driver when he's just got out of a car. Not at all. Okay. See what they need to do? That is not on. I could have hit that. Yeah. That needs a grounded corner on. Okay, Jason. That, that, that kills people, that does. Yeah, I'll speak to the post chief about it. Yeah, I think he'll be quite upset with that. Ah. I didn't expect to be doing manual labour as well. <laughs> That's all part and parcel of it. So two races in and one heart-stopping moment. Next, I was seconded to Church, one of the fastest corners in the UK. <laughs> He's giving it some. Yeah, he does. I just find myself naturally leaning you do, yeah. this way. Theoretically, you haven't got a lot of protection. If something comes off, you've got... Well, not theoretically. We haven't got any protection. You have. You've got a tyre wall. This was pure adrenaline stuff. Tempted just to look over. No. Okay, so what are we doing up here? We're starting the race. Yes. <laughs> well, we don't start it. Oh, we don't. I'm very proud when I hold these up. I'm excited and proud. Oh! And they're off. Wow. Right, they're all away cleanly, and we've got to go. For the next race, I was allowed on the grid to fulfil a boyhood dream. Normally, I'm the one being thrown off the grid. Now everyone else is off the grid, apart from me and you, Dorothy. <laughs> okay, you happy? Okay, here we go. It's incredibly noisy in there, John, and I'm standing on a live motor racing circuit at the start. The last race of the day, and events were suddenly about to get very serious. Rescue three, standby. Rescue three, standby. Rescue three, standby. Start line. Every marshal on the grid would be called into action. Thankfully, everyone was OK, and we started the clear-up. Within minutes, the cars and debris were off the track, the oil slick cleaned up, and the racing could resume. All in a day's work. Ted, I was president of the... British Motor Racing Marshals Club for some years and you could not be doing a better thing because the British Marshals are the best in the world, they're the best trained, they're so enthusiastic, they do it all with their own money to the extent that British Marshals are asked to go to places like the Monaco Grand Prix and all the others to help out there. 